Hello everybody. This video is made for people who don't know about this as I'm pretty sure most endgame players already know about this. But earlier today we were helping a guild member run through the werewolf coliseum and we figured out that you can actually get four armor breaks within the werewolf coliseum. Now outside of the werewolf coliseum you can actually only get up to three armor breaks and this is what this video is about for people who don't know how to do this. I'm going to show you guys how you can do this and this will make your end game content much much easier because you can gain an armor break into i think it's 110 percent when you add it all up so let's get into this okay so first things first for some reason the dragon slayer's armor break is classified as a completely different armor break this means that the armor break from the shatter scale will stack with a necromancer's skelly armor break or a warrior's armor break now the reason why the necromancer's armor break and the warrior's armor break doesn't stack is because they're classified as the same armor break because they both do 30 percent 30 percent armor and protection reduction however because the dragon slayer shatter scale applies a 40 percent armor break this allows it to stack because for some reason it's just not classified as the same armor break now normally class armor breaks normally only refresh each other they don't stack so because of this you can manipulate or exploit this to be able to stack a warrior's armor break with a dragon slayer's armor break then you can even apply rend which that classifies as a cross skill armor break and not a class armor break so you can keep rend up allowing you to have a dragon slayer's armor break a warrior or necromancer's armor break and a rend armor break up all at the same time allowing you to have a total of three armor breaks and now this is where it gets really really insane so a warrior and necromancer's armor break applies 30 percent a dragon slayer applies 40 percent so right there, 40 plus 30 gives you 70% armor and protection reduction. Then, Rand applies another 40% armor and protection reduction, meaning when you have all three up, it gives you a total of 110% armor and protection reduction, making the boss's armor go into the negative values because it is percentage-based. So whenever there's content that comes out for AQ3D, and as long as this doesn't get changed on bosses that have large amounts of armor, you can make the armor value go into a negative value, allowing you a small window to where you can do massive amounts of damage. And when I was running these tests, we figured out that you could take anything that has high armor value and basically turn it into a joke. So besides that, take your easy guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>